Welcome to Highline 179, the world's longest Tibet style footbridge. But the real question is, will I make it across and back? I don't want it anymore. It moves a lot. <laughs> Will the beautiful Austria views be enough to get me across? Literally swinging and <laughs> whoa. I don't know if I can go back. I made it. Gotta love those European farewells. <laughs> so we walked out and a woman just held out her hand and I gave her the key, <laughs> but she was speaking German. So I don't know if that was the, key, if that was the cleaner or who I just handed the Airbnb key to. Because Andrew's making me get out of my comfort zone today. You're gonna love it. We're gonna get donuts first. I forgot to clean my ears out this morning after the shower. It's, it's, it's normal, it's fine. We were actually just discussing how Airbnb checkout times are getting earlier and earlier and earlier. No, 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 no. Wait. Audubon. No, no, no Audubon, and we also need directions. Uh. Alright, directions in, and we are going to the breakfast club. So, let's go. So, maybe we're going to breakfast. Our GPS is freaking out right now. I'm going for it. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> I wasn't ready. You're ready at all times. <laughs> Someone got really grouchy while we were driving. Don't put that on camera, we have a perfect life. I mean, there are you. <laughs> exactly where I thought we would come out at. <laughs> we are 100% lost. But I could absolutely think of worst places to be lost in. Welcome to Innsbruck, Austria. One of the cutest towns I've possibly ever seen. And fun fact, two Winter Olympic Games have been hosted here. Like literally everywhere I look, looks like I'm in a postcard. <gasps> Postcards were invented in Austria. <laughs> I read 50 fun facts about Austria on the way here, so sprinkle those in along the way. <laughs> Most popular restaurant, no tables. Take two. Second best, bre second best breakfast place. I know I can get a latte. That's all I can translate so far. Can I have your phone for the translator thingy? It's definitely not foolproof. Andrew did such a good job ordering in German. I don't know why Megan did that to me. She's like, oh, just order in German. I think he said Nurse Sam Staggs. What did you Oh read? my gosh. So she said, what do you want to order? <laughs> and I read that off, which means only Saturdays. All right, this is what only Saturdays gets you. Okay, to the car and to face one of my fears. Great. Andrew's just been sitting over here for a while, tapping various buttons on this machine. I'm not sure if he's having luck getting us out of this parking garage. <sighs> Alright, that was fun. Didn't accept Apple Pay, didn't accept my card. <laughs> Luckily I had some euros on me. Or I thought we were never gonna get out of this parking garage. Good to go. Innsbruck is definitely one of the more stressful places we've driven. There's just a lot going on. 
Is it more stressful to drive in a non-English speaking place on the right side of the road or an English speaking place but on the left side, AKA the opposite side that we're used to? It's definitely more stressful in a non-English speaking country because there are so many roads and so many signs that I was like, oh, okay, it says no right turn here. But then people were taking a right. And, oh, am I going down a one way? There's a tram coming at me. There's a bus coming at me. But this looks like I'm on a road, but I can't read the signs. So we spotted this while we were driving. Oh no, that looks horrible. And I was like, okay, we have to do that. Then Megan actually Googled it and saw that it was a in the Guinness Book of World Records. And I was like, okay, we definitely have to do it now. Plus Megan was freaking out yesterday on the bridge overlooking the Neuschenstein Castle. I hate how much the wood is moving on this bridge. I was like, okay, this will definitely help her with her fear. Okay, it's not so much that I have a fear of heights, it's that I have a fear of things that are dangling in the air, snapping off and me falling to my impending doom. It's not unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Plus it's like the instability of it. It's like my legs are already shaking and then the bridge is shaking, so everything feels like jello. And this one's, we can see it's swinging in the wind. Don't here. talk <laughs> about it. <laughs> Press the start button. <laughs> the Hornberg aus erreichen Sie die Highline 179, die Burgruine Ehrenberg mit wunderbarem Blick auf die Nord. So you can either walk up, which is like 20 minutes, or you can take that lovely cable car ride. Very scenic. We decided to take that just because of the weather. Otherwise, we probably would have walked. Also, fun fact, the Highline 179 connects two castles together. Nope, not quite landing it. <laughs> All right, do you want to look at it before crossing? Does that mean I have to walk there and back? I can't get down on the other side. Maybe you could drive the car to the other side. I have to do it twice. I hope that he's doing blessings over the bridge. <laughs> We're gonna start with the castle on this side so I can work up my nerves a little bit more. What kind of rule is this? No fear of heights are required. <laughs> Whether you actually cross the bridge or not, I mean, the view is well worth it. But I think by now, Megan's seen at least 200 kids <laughs> cross it. So are you feeling any better about this? I feel all right. <laughs> I'm gonna crawl across it. So there's a sign that says the walls aren't very secure, but I mean, they feel secure. <laughs> If anyone was curious what my face was behind the camera while he was doing that, it was something like this. Sure you. Oh, that's cool. Imagine people like a thousand years ago being in here and fortifying the walls, protecting the castle. Wow. Look at this! Oh. Is this King Arthur's? I am the chosen one! <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> 
the chosen one. <laughs> All right, get him on. <laughs> I have another Austria fact. The Austrian flag is one of the oldest national flags. It was designed in the 1100s. That's not a very good depiction of it, though. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but on a good note, it's not very windy today for the bridge. The foundation of this is from the 1290s. This spiral staircase is not from the 1290s. <laughs> I'm not afraid of heights. This is higher than the bridge. All right, let's go to the bridge. <laughs> First of all, it's wild that there's no one monitoring this bridge. It's just kind of take it at your own risk. Good luck. You ready? All right, this is it. It's not that scary right here. <laughs> Give me a minute though. We're still over ground. It moves. It moves. It moves. <laughs> it moves a lot. <laughs> Literally swinging and <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I'm on a trampoline. I don't love it. Oh my gosh. I didn't actually think that it was going to be like swaying back and forth this much and like. Uh, at like one point, it was like a trampoline. I don't know if someone on the other end was just like jumping up and down on it, but I that's, hate it. I feel that's what so it dizzy. felt like. <laughs> like just, I cannot look down. Yeah, I was gonna say, look straight down. Nope, absolutely not. <laughs> I will be looking directly <laughs> this way. You're doing great. I will be You're, holding whoa. your arms. Not playing yet. <laughs> I don't think so. Whoa, slippery. <laughs> She's so brave. She just like took off, and I was like, "All right." I was like, "I guess she uh, she con conquered that." <laughs> Take out found a bravery. I took off, so I was like, "I'm just looking straight. I am just getting through, and I still have to go back." <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> I actually didn't think it was gonna be this scary. I was kind of joking. I actually might have a fear of heights. I'm unsure. <laughs> well, we'll take our time going Someone back. Someone looked yeah. me directly in the eye and started jumping. Not I cool. I saw that guy. I was like, come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Land! <laughs> 1,300 feet. <laughs> I can't decide if this cloud would make it better or worse, if I would have like no frame of how far up I was. I kind of want to wait for it to clear, I think. It doesn't really look like it has an end in sight. <laughs> I was actually a little surprised on how slippery it was. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, cool. This is like, we're kind of caged in. This is pretty, oh, yeah. I was like, I was like okay, okay, I'm just going to skate skate across this thing now so supposedly there's a second castle over here so you want to find that before we cross it back over <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's getting camera ready <laughs> oh yeah that's the look yep <laughs> that's it a wet rat. <laughs> welcome to Fort Claudia which is just opposite of where we were, Castle Ehrenberg. I can actually see it from here. It's 
So legend has it that witches and warlocks and vampires used to fly in Austria from castle to castle. So now the High Line Bridge gives us mere mortals the same opportunity. The architect of the High Line Bridge had a passion for restoring castles and forts and all the old incredibly historical places around Austria and so he had this dream of connecting the fort with the castle in 1995 and it took him until 2012 to get investors for the project and start it in 2014. I just love a story like that when someone holds on to their dream for so long and just doesn't give up on it because they want it to happen more than anything and that's what makes the Highline 179 so cool in my opinion. It's flooding, it's flooding, move to the high ground. Go, go, go. The bridge again. How are we supposed to walk on this? I'm definitely creaking a lot. really cold. <laughs> I wish it would stop raining like just a little. Can you believe that just this cable right here is actually keeping us from falling to our death? By the way, ready to do this again? <laughs> Museum or food? Food. Yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> My nerves worked up an appetite. All right. Well, I definitely recommend stopping here. It's quite the view. And if you are heading to Innsbruck from Germany. If you're afraid of heights, do it anyway. Or afraid of, what did I say? Cables snapping? <laughs> do it anyway. Falling to your death. It your was impending so much fun. doom. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Back to Germany for us. And then off to. A new country. <laughs> All right, see you in the next country.